What is up guys, today we'll be doing the full speed test for the Redmi Note 8 Pro versus the Note uh, 9 Pro or 9S uh, is what they're dubbing it. So let's go ahead and get started and we will do the full comparison. I just want to play around with the cameras tomorrow when it's actually light outside. But let's go ahead and do the full comparison with the speed today. Uh, so the Note 8 Pro, the base model, has 6 gigs of RAM in the Helio G90T much uh, more powerful than the Snapdragon 720G on the um, 9S or 9 Pro. Now you have 4 gigs of RAM on this base model. Now it doesn't cost a whole bunch to get these 6 gigs of RAM version. I think it's like 30 bucks more or something like that. Might be a little bit more but I'm not completely sure. Now this has Android 10 with MIUI 11 already. Now this has Android uh, 9 with MIUI 11. Uh, so it's got, they both have the same skin but this has the newer version of Android. And um, I have the global version so I'm not sure why I haven't got gotten the uh, update yet. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, hopefully, the update will come soon. But let's go ahead and get started. We'll be checking out RAM management, of course, as well. So, let's just start off with Instagram. And let me make sure that I make sure. Yeah, all right. Everything's clear. Let's start off with Instagram. Three, two, one. I think that was slightly faster on the 8 Pro here. Scrolling, both extremely smooth on both phones no issue at all let's go ahead and go to Google Earth 3, 2, 1 looked about the same here I think that was a little faster on the 8 Pro try Google Play Store Again, slightly faster on the 8 Pro. Temple Run. Again, the 8 Pro. Slightly faster here. Jetpack Joyride. Or <laughs> Subway Surfer. <laughs> much faster on the uh, 8 Pro and um, yeah uh, as you can see the one of the things you'll notice that it's different is the uh, water drop versus the punch hole which I'm a big fan of the punch hole I just really like it but uh, displays pretty much look the same still alright let's go ahead and try YouTube oh the 9S or 9 Pro got it there Let's go ahead and try Doodle Jump. It's faster on the Note 8 Pro. Let's try the cameras now. Cameras are always really good to open fast because it's the difference between getting a really good shot, right? So, 3, 2, 1. Look slightly faster on the 8 Pro as well. So as you can see, not a huge difference in speed, but uh, just like a hair faster. But let's go ahead and try some heavier games here. So let's go ahead and try um, PUBG, and I'll show you the difference in graphics as well with this. So the 8 Pro got it there and the 9 Pro right behind it. So if I go to graphics just to show you the difference between these two chips. Graphics you can see on the 8 Pro we can have ultra frame rates and we, ha we can have HDR. You can't have HDR on the 9S and you can only go high for uh, the frame rates here. So as you can see that is the difference there. Um, let's go ahead and actually just get into a game. Let's 
B9S got it there. But as you can see, it uh, definitely feels smoother just when scrolling and stuff like that on the Note 8 Pro. Uh, so this would be the better gaming device here. As you can see, it's just smoother. The frame rates and everything like that. And um, as far as graphics, uh, you can see slightly a bit more detail um, with the 8 Pro. So the graphics do look just a little bit better, but not you is it's, it's very minimal minimal uh, so let's try Call of Duty Mobile and again the 8 Pro already logged in Jetpack Joyride. So, as you can see, not uh, upgrade in speed with uh, the 9S. Um, it's really a downgrade with the processor, but we'll do the full comparison so I can explain what they actually upgraded with this phone. And it's not much, but it, it really depends on, um, you know, what you're looking for uh, in a smartphone. So, uh, let's go ahead and um, check out the browser. See, faster, 8 Pro. And both, you know, very smooth. So, it's not a slow phone by any means here. Uh, the 9S is just it's not you know a faster phone than uh, the 8 Pro. So let's check out RAM management. Four gigs on the um, 9S, and then we have six gigs on the um, 8 Pro. So let's try Instagram. And I love how they do the um, layout here uh, for the app switch. I just really like this a little bit more. Uh, so that was pretty much. They were both still open. Google Earth, both refreshed. Go ahead and try Temple Run. So they're both refreshing. Hmm. Play Store. Yeah, everything, everything got kicked out. So, okay, Jetpack Joyride is still open. So it might have to be. It might do something with the software. I'm thinking because these applications should have stayed open. Let's try a PUBG. So PUBG is still open and it restarted on the 9S. Okay, that's still open. So RAM management, not terrible. But um, UI 11, it seems like it should be keeping out these applications in memory more uh, but it's that's not the case so I've had phones with 4 gigs of RAM that keep applications in memory more so um, that's something I noticed really but yeah so it should be keeping stuff in memory more but alright guys that's pretty much it thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one